Hello, I'm Charles. I'm Annabelle. And today we're going to be weaving baskets, or trying to weave baskets, with this plastic strapping stuff that they use to strap together pallets of goods for shipping. Now normally, what this stuff is, ooh, that's why we have safety glasses on. Well, no, you've you got it. glasses. This stuff is normally melted together when they tighten it and there's a special machine that goes and either vibrate heats it together or uses heat to melt it together so we're going to be using don't do that yeah. we're going to be using scissors or shears 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 it's a fancy word for like heavy-duty scissors oh. to cut that because you don't want that in with your baskets so that's just gonna be oh and that's cracked Dun, dun, dun. That's going to be trash. We're going to be using a standard over under weaving pattern and we're going to do odd numbers on the bottom. Do you know why we're doing odd numbers? Because if you do even numbers when it comes to the side and you go over under over under, you're not going to be alternating on the other courses. I, I have this. So, what's I, an odd number? One, three, five, six. Seven. Exactly. So we're going to do like a three Eleven. basket and then maybe a five basket. Okay? Okay. Alright, you want me to show you what we're going to do, Annabelle? Yes, please. We're going to take. Don't take my grass hair. Three of these. Ow. One, two, Then, we're going to take three this way. Look, this is the over-under. You ready? See, it goes over that one, under that one, over that one. This is going to take forever. No. Do you know what the next one's going to be? What? It's going to be under, over, under. Under. Because I am over, smart. Under. I'm very smart. So, what's the next one going to be? It's going to be... Over, under, over. Like the first one. Because I'm an expert at weaving. How are you? Yeah! Now, should we stick with three by three? Because your basket's only going to be that big. Or should we go with six by six? Six by six. Now, why should we not go with six by six? Because we want to do uneven numbers. Right, or so, odd unders. so what should we go with? She should go with three by three. Or five by five. Five by five. So there's four. Now what is this one going to do? See how that one's over? So what's this one going to be? Under. What's this one going to be? Over. Under. Now we've got five this way. It's so beautiful. And only three this way. So what do we need? We need two more on the three part. The part that only has three. I call it the three part. So, watch this. Under, over. Can I do one? Under, definitely. Yeah. Over, under. Yeah. You can come around to this side if it makes it easier. Okay. Excuse me. Beep, beep. Then you can do it right there. Under, over, under. Oh, no. Gonna go over and this one goes under. Excellent. Now, you want to kind of smash them together as close as you can. Well, as close as you possibly can. But if this is five by five, is it going to be a rectangle or a square? Square. Yep. Because squares have equal sides. Yep. So. If you were doing area, which I'm doing this year because I'm in third grade and I'm happy about it. <laughs> if you were doing area and you had a square and one side was five, well, all of the side, three of the sides were five. And you had to guess what, what the missing side was. This is basically a, a copied question off my test. Don't judge me. <laughs> the... Area? The 
The missing side? The area of the miss the length of the missing side would also be five. Because it's a square. Right? Squares have equal sides. What, what would be the area? The area the the area I tell you would be twenty five if it was feet it would be twenty five square feet. If it were inches, it would be twenty five square inches. Alright, well come look at this. Math lesson for you, third graders. <laughs> look at this. We'll bring this look closer. At what? Look at what? Smoosh it closer. It's five. One, two, three, four, five. By five. One, two, three, four, five. So I if you counted this it. as an intersection, how many intersections would be in this lower part of the basket? Hmm. I'll give you a hint. It's the same thing as the area. 25. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Ha <laughs> ha. Math lesson. So, Your great math lesson. here's what we're going to do with this. And this is going to be a little bit tricky. Mm -hmm. And this is where... I smooshed them together some more. This tool is going to come in handy. Ah! It looks like I forget what it's called. Yours. Let's just call it the the I look like a it's killing a, it's device. a bender thing. It's made for for bending um, sheet metal and whatnot. Can we can we just call it the I look like a killing device? Okay, well, no, not on YouTube. <laughs> okay. What we would do with a pair of pliers if we were going to bend it with pliers would be just grab it and bend it up. But since we've got this, this random squishy malushi thing. Yep. Whatever we're going to call it. My normal is my random. <laughs> if you could grab these. And go wha bam. Wha bam. Beautiful. And that'll give you it looks your basket. It looks like a piece of grass. So what we're gonna do is grab each one of these and pull them up. Wha bam. As far as you possibly can. Well, we're gonna go about 90 degrees because what is 90 degrees? I have no idea. It is a on? what's called a right angle. Hold on over under. Do you know how many right angles are in a square? Four. Wait, hold on, we have a problem here. Is one not over under, right? Yes. That one's gonna be over. It just slid a little bit. Okay. And you'll see what's gonna hold that in in a minute. It's gonna be a chicken nugget. This is probably gonna take a while. Well, once you get going, since we're filming it, it's gonna take a little while longer. All right, now watch this. I'm gonna. No, leave it. I'm trying to get it. Can I try? Then let me do these. All right, you can do this one. Yay. Do I squeeze? You squeeze that. You have to squeeze it with both hands. And then keep it close to the base. And then lift up on it. And then go a little bit further. And then let go. Perfect. Okay, now that we've got the bottom woven to the basket and the sides just hanging here, I've pre-cut some pieces, and it's not quite square, but I've made some pieces that are rectangular to match the bottom. What I plan on doing is gluing these together at the corners with some hot glue, and then we'll have some pieces we can slide down from the top to make our basket sides. Okay, I'm just going to a blob of hot glue. Let's do this. Hold it there for a bit. I'm going to do that on all of them. Well, the easy way to do this would be to stuff them all on the inside. 
and then pull out the ones that have to go over. So like this one. The next one. The next one. Okay, I was going to go, since we've got five across, five across, I was going to go five up, but I'm going to stop at four because we're going to run out of stuff up here. Now what we need to do here is we're going to be coming over and tucking this back down through one of these. Oh, if I can, in there. Holding it down as well as we can, and then smashing that. Can I can have too much? Can we have one more? No. Now what we're going to do is work our way all the way around. This one's going to go inside, outside, inside, inside, outside. And then we'll trim these up so that they fit just underneath here and you won't see it. Now this one I've woven in there, what I'm going to do with this one is just bend it over and fold it good there. And then this is going to tuck underneath here. So what I'll do is cut that one. Even with the bottom there. Are you going to use this one? So when you tuck that in there. Got it. And there you've got a naked stick. You could put it in there. You could put tools in there. You could even put your hand in there. Oh, you put chicken nuggets in there. Okay, I'm working on the 7x7 seven seven version. Let's see, I've got. Seven rows. Seven rows. And I've already got three rows around here. And what I do is you got these squares that I've made up by gluing the corners together. You push that square down over all of them. And you flip it sideways. And then you look at the ones below. This one went under below, so I have to pull it through so it goes over this one and then every other one you do that too this one goes over this one And there, 
you smash all these down, you'll be getting your pattern. Okay, it's a little bit difficult to keep these all the way down. They want to slip back up. So what I'm going to do is run some cable ties from the bottom to the top to help hold them down. Try to do it at the corners. Okay, I've got my cable ties holding the top pieces down on all four corners. My weave looks nice and good. Time to start folding these over. But, I've done something a little bit different on this one from the last one. These two handles, or these two pieces right here, I'm going to leave long. And we're going to fold those all the way over and hot glue them in place to make a handle for our basket. I've done something else. I've made me a little gauge and this gauge is the length that the little tabs need to be so that they can tuck back in once I fold them over. And what that does, it makes it so I can just hold that up there. I don't have to make any marks or anything. Cut my piece there. And then when I fold it over, Get a good squeeze of these. It'll be the right length to tuck it in there. So I can go ahead and make all my cuts all the way around using my little gauge. All right, there I've got all my pieces cut except for, like I say, the piece that will eventually be the handle. So we'll go ahead and tuck all these in and we'll do the handle thing next. Okay, all my pieces are folded over. They're not tucked in yet, but I think they're doing their job enough of holding it down. We can go ahead and cut these cable ties. They're holding everything together. Okay, with these pieces, this one needs to be trimmed a little bit more. But with these pieces, what you're doing is, once you fold them over, you need to tuck them back in under this piece, and that'll help hold it in place. So you gotta push that down in there. Or, what I found will help, if I can get this angled where I want it. Let's get a screwdriver. It'll help kind of shoehorn it in place. And once that's tucked in there, it'll hold nicely. And see how I'm saying if that sticks out past the bottom of that, you might need to trim it just a little bit more.
There we go. We just do that all the way around the outside and inside, and we'll be done. Look, except for the handle. Have everything, all my weave pieces tucked in, looking nice. Got my pieces here for my handle. And my plan is to tuck that side just a little bit in. Maybe go down. Oh, I'll have to do that one first, the short side first. What I'll do is tuck that in there. And then back around. If you can see that in behind that weave right there. And then this one will come around. Tuck in here. And possibly go down to that weave there. That actually might be enough to hold it in. But then what I'll do just to reinforce it is put a blob of hot glue right here. Glue everything together. And it should be nice. Okay, got my handle just about tucked all the way in with just enough room here. Put me some hot glue and then the handle should fit nice and firm on there. And we got it. A little seven by seven woven basket from Free Materials. It's actually pretty sturdy. Well, okay, there is the finished basket, the seven by seven. And here are the models. The models. Put the models in there. <laughs> Put the models in there. Go model. Get in there. I'm gonna shove you in there. Now. Oh basket. no, Mr. Bear! He's being what? No. Go come back here. Whoa. All right, now what did you ask me when I made finished making this basket? If I could have it as my Easter basket. If you could have it for your Easter basket. That made me proud. So, a basket made out of free strapping material that a little girl would want as an Easter basket. <laughs> <laughs> so, as always, thanks for watching. Hope you oh, enjoyed. Oh, and I want to say something. The models are Coco the Koala. Bunny the bunny and Mr. Bear the, the the bear and and Annabelle the human. And like and subscribe. Say it. No. All right. <laughs> like and subscribe if it even makes it that far. Here. <laughs>